Yeah, I mean, I've been in certain places. And, but every trick that I think about trying to do, I think about it at Love Park. That's just gone now. It's like yeah. it's like somebody died. Like I'm yep. never gonna see that person again. We should be able to do whatever we want here. We made this place. We made this place alive. We came here and we gave it life. We gave it to where people could walk by and not feel scared because we got these little scrawny kids on skateboards here next to these fucking big time drug dealers. If these little kids aren't scared, why should I be scared? I'm a 30 year old man coming from work. Fight for love part.
Skaters, what's up? Welcome to issue 60. Man, this is a special 10 year anniversary issue and I'm jumping out of my pants with excitement. I know you guys probably are too, but let me tell you what makes it so exciting for me. Stevie Williams, a day in the life, then we're gonna throw back to when he was a young youth doing his thing. And we're gonna have a look at the DC video premiere. Now, I got to be there, but you guys didn't, so this is the best you're gonna get, so you might wanna check that out. And then we got an Eric Costa profile, and this is a good one because it's also when he was a small youth as well. And I'm jumping out of my pants again, I can't wait to see this. So what we've done is we've taken 10 years of all the greatest footage of 411 and we've put it all together into three different sections of chaos. So stick around, this is promising to be like a special issue, I'm touched, I gotta take a moment here, I'm gonna lose it.
Hello, this is Ed Templeton, and you're watching 411 on their 10 year anniversary. Or is it a birthday? You're trying to call it a birthday? Day. I think it's more of an anniversary, man. Well, then say anniversary. Happy anniversary, 401. Extreme athlete Colt Cannon leads a fast-paced lifestyle with a schedule this hectic. Really shoot, you got a demo, kid. He demands a deodorant that keeps him scented properly, something that stays with him on the go. It always leaves a refreshing and seductive smell in the air. A technically advanced right. deodorant that knows how to hold up under pressure. Colt Spice, the new topless deodorant by Crux favorite shoe would have to be the one. It's the one that outlasted all the other ones that Tried had come and shape gone. Shape it a little more. I guess athletic with the most of the body got finished in the three. Go as seamless as possible. Not so much for the look, but just going basically almost for indestructible. It's there for your protection. It's not there to window shop. It's a little mixture of old and new. Now we have the G2 gel system, which is actually a better impact protection than the original air. I try not to change the way it's skated which I don't think it did, I, I think I improved it. Mikey, Tim. trying to do your commercial for 411 here, but we have nothing to work with. What are you talking about? You didn't give us much. We're paying you big bucks for this? Tim, dude, uh, you're a hater. What do you want us to do? Should we play with some dissolves? I mean, what do you want me to do here? Just like, have it like this. This is what you can do. Do the whole commercial with all your fancy, like, DVS, like, artsy stuff. Uh-huh. And then, like, at the last second, just show, like, a clip of me rolling. And it's be like, that's new or something. I don't know, man. Okay. All right, how about a day in the life with Stevie Williams? Stevie was perfect for this issue because I believe it was nine years ago that he had a Wheels of Fortune. You know, the thing I love about 411 
is just digging in the crate of VHS tapes and finding some of the greats in Wheels of Fortune. You can find anyone from Anthony Van England, Tom Penny, Arto Sari, Bam. Hi, I'm Bam. The list goes on. You get to see them when they're young, doing their thing. Right now, it's all about Stevie. Let's take a look. Yeah, Cheers. nine years later, I'm still glad to be in the game. You know what I'm now it's like I know, I know how to be pro. You know, what I, mean? I came from amateur to being pro. I know what pro is like, but I'm still doing it though. After nine years later, I'm only 23 though. I, mean, I was like 11 back then. <laughs> Hey Philly, what's your name? <laughs> Steve Williams. Where you from? Philly. Where you skateboard, nigga. <laughs> Element and failure. Skate shop. Who you like skating at, nigga? <laughs> Pulaski and Love Park. And anywhere on the east. Anything else you would like to say to wrap up this? Commercial. Kids. <laughs> I wanna like to thank everybody from Pulaski, Love Park, New York, Philly. Florida, the West Coast, wherever they're from. That's it. So Stevie's out. Basically what I do every day, you know what I mean? Wake up, come into the living room, play video games till about 2.30, wait for somebody to call me. Usually Spencer, Javier, something, phone call, come over, you know what I mean? Slow my man Jack, I got people coming into town like every week, somebody new coming in, chilling with a nigga. I lived in the studio my whole life with my mom, you know what I'm saying? I never had my own room being young. So now, you know, me being a little bit older, I was it's secure, it's, it's gangster living here. You can hit your ride. Don't trip, take a trip if you wanna hit the ride. Ride along with the song if you need to lift the glide. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't trip, take a trip if you wanna lift the ride. Ride along with the song if you need to lift the glide. You could hit your ride, take a trip within the moment's time. What you need is music that defines. What you wanna be, follow me to the other side. With your eyes, mind, if you die, trying to find the meaning of this love, this. So open up your mind, and maybe you can fuck with me and mine. Run away, slaves free from time, keep the rhyme. No other way to speak these lines and each desire. I'm trying to ride. Sometimes you get the day, sometimes you don't. When I'm sparking this, cash blind on body carcasses from Matt Marcus's. If you spit and this shit, I give you 10 throat lozenges to stop you right dead in your tracks. She's like Parkinson's, always got that dope targeted. I'm about to walk with it. I'm trying to get these floors carpeted, some steady chocolate. And when you bring up the nicks, just never put stocks in it. And go and go to platinum, just depends on how I'm walking. So my man Rasul came all the way from Philadelphia. The nigga S. Dot Williams. Not Doc Carter. This is what I do all day, every day. We're gonna go to USC, I'm gonna get this one clip there. Nose man, another clip out.
as you can see, my day is over. We got my man Jack still filming his line. My footy is done. This is where I cut the day. About to go get something to eat. I call it a wrap. Holla at your boy. Shout outs to DGK, all my squads. Wish Javier was here so he could come rip and Kareem. You know what I mean? Besides that, the day is over. <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary, 4 and one
AffiliateSkateboards.com. Four in One Issue 60 on DVD is a four disc collector's edition with hours of bonus footage, a free CD, and a 48 page booklet covering the history of our first 10 years. It's about time you kill your VCR. You know, DC does everything so big regardless, but they had of course take it to like the next level by premiering the first ever skateboard video at the Chinese Man Theater where they you know premiere the world's biggest blockbuster. You know, because skate videos, you know, you certainly aren't limo driven to the red carpet, you know, with, with paparazzi and whatnot. It's not skateboarding. what we like to call a vessel that night. Anthony Van Anglin, the skater, passed out around 5 o'clock. And the vessel that is his human body ran wild for the rest of the night. Before Mr. Block could give his big speech to the, to the skate community, a, a wild, ravaged beast called Ave grabbed the mic and, and had his own things to say. You know, but it, it, I feel like it set the tone for like energy, you know, especially for like how it just leads right into his part, which is just so like rock and roll and just done so well, you know, like so sick. 
for you. DC team was scheduled to go worldwide. You know, almost like a concert tour or something that went all the way to, to obscure places like Moscow, which then all through Europe, to Japan, and to finally ended off in Sydney. Uh, you are here because this is the Sydney premiere of the DC video. Which is very, very, very cool. You know, you gotta, you know, commend the fact that they, you know, are willing to step up so hard and do things so, so big to give it to skateboarding. They're willing to support everyone and to take it to a bigger level, you know, which is just wonderful, wonderful sponsor. Yo, what's up? This is Tajay of the Mighty Souls of Mischief Crew. I'm chilling with my man Festo, my man A Plus, and my man O. You know what's going on? And right now, you know what's going on?
What's up? This is Kareem Campbell, and you're watching Full One. Happy 10 year anniversary, baby. City Stars action. I've been here for over 10 years. Alright, peace. What is the purpose of breaking bottles? I've been going through this problem with my girlfriend. Hellboy f***ing fingered me! Hellboy. Picture a guy named Hellboy, and that's what he looks like. Look what she's doing to you! What I need right now is heavy metal music. I want to play the field of Go break into Glorin's house. Look in her drawers, look in her dirty laundry. These are girlfriends' underwear. You guys uh, got the new Nokia CD? They have the ultimate band. If you say one more thing, I'll pull your <laughs> face off. Watch your mouth, sweetheart. Oh. Yeah, bro. Haggard. Slid out into the bushes over on the right shoulder. Hey, buddy, need a lift? Need a 454. What are you doing? I'm driving. I got a fair here! Come on! Mm. Million dollar body and a food stamp face. All right, it's been 10 years. We want to do something real special here. So let's get to the profile. This is arguably one of the best profiles ever filmed for 411. And I just want to share it with you. This is Eric Costin from 1993. I'm definitely Yeah, Russ is casting. Yeah. Costin file. You got a co you got something on that man? What right? Costin file, Garrett. Costin. Please hold on. Uh, Costin with a K? Yeah, K. Got him. 
With a K, we got him. Oh, okay. Austin, that's the guy. That's she. Bingo. Boom! We're out. Bingo. We are out. Let's go. Yeah. So, we got the top Yeah, we're out of here. Looking for this young boarder. This is his spot. We don't know. We can't see the bottom. No. Skateboard time. His name is uh, Costa. First name Eric. Okay. Thanks for your time. Oh. <laughs> I don't, who gave you the information? A bunch of guys. He says he knows the guy. But Tony. Hey, I don't know. We, don't. Hey, we, don't pull this out on me this time. Listen, we've been shaking around here for like an hour now. If we don't come up with this guy, we're our Shadow. I don't even care. I've probably seen him before. I don't... Hey. We're looking for him. Oh, we've... I'm with him. We've been looking for this guy, Costin. You haven't seen Young him. Young right? border around here. We're at the end of our rope here. We've been told that this is his spot. And we haven't seen him around. He's supposed to be in a video. We got till 6. Or our ass is out. We're with Russell Casting and um, we're supposed to feature this young lad in the next event for a county fair. You haven't seen him by any chance, have you? No? I don't know, unless my dog ate him. Unless your dog ate him? Thanks for your cash. It's even worse than me. The most, the grand high exalted, never faltered, known as Guru, sticking it to you. And this your co-host with the co-most, the mystic, majestic, left, right, left kid, J. Ruben Damage. Hey, yo, son. Yo, what's up, son? I heard some crabs all Lenny talking about how you drink 40s and this and this and that. Uh, tell me what you feel about that. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Hey, yo, come here, speed up this track, and I'm going to drop the latest track. I deliver on the ease and walk around with my head up. I'm dead up serious, so don't be getting too curious. Motherfuckers always wanna know what makes me tick. I pull the phrase out quick, cause I'm dipped and I'm slick. You thought that I would slip, cause you see me drinking 40s. It shocked you. say hi, and you told your friends you saw me. We'll say what you want, cause all of mine is intact. In fact, I'll have you open like a hook gap. I like to catch a bus cause I get into the beats more And seas are washed up like dead fish on the sea Sure, say the talk Cause you know I walk that walk Hit city to city but make a home in New York I know the time with this rap Because they got it all backwards They need to take a hand and catch my microphone imprint Straight to the dome, through the skull, to the tissue Call me Google Audition If you're pressing the issue Not my style to be sweating all the stupid ass rumors I'll take it as a compliment of you too If you're scheming on the chance to put a stain on my name Don't even Think about it, cause ain't no shame in my game. Stick to the subject. I ain't afraid to be real. A lot of MCs play cards just to gain the feel. I like some gangster rap, don't like the prankster crap, so I get past all that, like it can straight up facts, there ain't no reason to shoot, unless you got beef, if you go out and you don't use it, then you make that creep, toolies and texts ain't toys, the kids got it today, if they're ready to spray, let's get the f*** out the way, I try keeping my sanity, by thinking of better times, if I write clever rhymes, then maybe I'll climb, but what the hell, success, if the mess ain't changing, my bones flip a rut, stupid gang still banging, stick up kids still sticking, nasty hookers still tricking, all the pimps still pimping and all the crackheads tripping While the deal is still selling So I refrain from the yelling and the preaching Cause who the f*** when I reach? Man, niggas don't wanna stop that They wanna look back Who'd wanna clean up their hat when the babies come in stacks? They live for the minute and they're all wrapped up in it It's an unfortunate state for many it's too late Now death stalks the streets and it's right at your dick So fuck, lose your mind, but I ain't going insane I think the fly lyrics, cause ain't no shame in my game Life's a bitch.
limits So who are we to judge each other? I know I got faults, I ain't the only mother The stuff I heard about you wasn't too cool, you know Like how you smoke wounds and that your girl's a hump But I don't listen to shit unless the story's legit Knuckleheads need to quit Cause they be riding the bills with But I'm taking care of business regardless And when it comes to rhyming, you know I'm hitting hardest So you can kick dirt, but in the end you'll feel pain, you little sucker There ain't no shame in my game Well, that's it, issue 60. I hope you enjoyed it. That was 10 years of skateboarding at its finest, thrown into one DVD or VHS. That's touching. Issue 61 is going to be just as exciting, and that is the BAM issue. Do it, fool! Having your own skate park so fun. It's 3.30 in the morning, and I just get to shred the night away. I'm dead, no Bennigan's 401 VM, volume 61. As well as the return of the grapevine, which is where I will inform you of what is going on out there in the industry, keep you up to date, let you know what's happening all over the world in skateboarding. So I hope you're checking me out in 61, as well as everyone else in 61, because it's for you, man. We'll see you guys later. How you guys doing out there? I'm your host, Vin Diesel, and welcome to Issue. <laughs> Tell Ortiz it's way too professional now. I need a raise. It's not like the old days. You just make fun of Tom Knox and get a bunch of money. <laughs> One take and a Knox joke, and you were off on the 405 back to LA. Dude, welcome to 54321. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting the other end. Take you somewhere now. Oh! What happened? His truck catch you? No, his board. Like he missed the. Like he Shot had it out. in like Smith, and then he fell off, and you That's know fine. you kick the board out or whatever. Yeah.
There you. So, uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Older, however, she's suffering. What Why are you ripping up the papers? No, you're mad at goddammit! No, you're mad at goddammit!
It happened all over London. It felt very much our little place that you carve out of a city. It brought a bit of life to the greyness. That was like a big period of change, I think. Exploration and brotherhood, which is something that most people never really get to experience. It's really important that the youngsters now know where it came from and where it's going to. It was the only non-exclusive community that I found. Love. And we've done it for next to nothing. That, that's what amazes me. Just crazy people coming together. Everybody there from all sides of the globe. And we had it all, lost it all. And we're still living with a mess. We was the black sheep of society. You know, they only took places away. All that comes a part of history. Back then it was punk. We looked like baby hippies. <laughs> it's not about the trainers or the trousers that we wear anymore, it's about the stuff that we do. I think it's all about travel cards. <laughs> it seemed much more radical to be doing something that nobody knew anything about. I think I saw more South Bank than I did my mum. Sketchy, but deadly. People are doing things that shouldn't be done. They don't seem to get hurt as much. Maybe they do, I don't know, they just bounce or something. That would just mold the geniuses that would get old. Well, what I see now is people just ripping, unbelievably ripping. It's changed. It wasn't as media friendly as it is now. Big major industries. And now, money. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy oh, birthday! The 10th one. 10th anniversary! Happy birthday! <laughs> now don't skate, turn it off! <laughs> <laughs>